the first Mumbai International Film Festival for documentary, short and animation films was held in March 1990. And it was in the 1996 festival that Dr. V. Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award was instituted. And in the 14th MIFF, Dr. V. Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award for the year 2016 is conferred on Sri Naresh Bedi for his singular dedication and exceptional contribution to the conservation of wildlife and environment through his extraordinary films. So congratulations on winning the Lifetime Achievement Award. So could you tell us how you felt when you received the award? I think it's great honor, it's great privilege, very happy to receive this uh, prestigious award by in the memory of V. Shantaram, who himself was a big filmmaker. So it's a big happy moment where your own work is recognized by the people, not recognized by fraternity, that you're doing something worthwhile for conservation of our wildlife. That's my field. Uh, it's a great privilege. Sri Naresh Bedi, renowned nature and wildlife filmmaker and conservationist, comes from a family that has dedicated its life to environmental protection and conservation for over three generations. In 1984, he became the first Asian filmmaker to win the Green Oscar, and in 1987, he received two nominations for the British Academy Film Awards for his work. In 2015, the Government of India conferred him with the Padma Shri in recognition of his superlative body of work and his unwavering commitment to the protection of endangered species. So yesterday you shared a few instances with us where you were chased by a white rhino and attacked by tigers. Could you share some more memorable moments with us? See, I mean, dealing with filming any animal, any bigger animal or smaller animal have, poses its own problems in terms of filming, in terms of risk involved. For example, filming gharials was very different because we were filming in Chambal Valley, Chambal known for the kites. And when we were filming at that time, famous uh, bandit queen, Pulan Devi, she was active. She was very active in the area where we were camping. Even one day the policeman came in jeep and said, Are, aapko malum nahi? Ye... The courts ka area, aapko utha ke le jayenge, aapki chamkile chamkile jitne camera ke bakse ye bhi le jayenge. It was so scary ki you don't know whether you will be alive next moment or not because you will be caught by these little points. So, it's not only the animals, we had problem with other kind also. Number of times we were attacked by elephants, we just survived. It's important to understand the animal first know how he's going to behave, what kind of temperament he is in, is in a must, so it's a dangerous animal, individual, erratic behavior, you, by experience, by learning about it, you learn and act accordingly. So you just cannot go blindly and start filming or shooting something and taking risk. So you take calculated risk which we have taken and survived so far. In a career spanning over 45 years, Sri Bedi has inspired generations of nature and wildlife filmmakers. His films have put India on the international map and have resulted in policy changes in India and other countries. So you've been making animal documentaries for about 45 years now and you've learned the hard way. And now thanks to National Geographic and Animal Planet, our new document makers don't face such problems like funding and technology. Would you like to give any advice to these new filmmakers, sir? I think they have much easier role at the moment. As far as to express their views, express their creativity because of the cheaper technology, digital technology 
comparatively. I mean, it's not everything is not that cheap. Once you start doing professionally, everything is expensive. But still, comparing it with the past, where you had to have film or different cameras, now it's much easier. You can shoot. You can shoot a lot. You can come up and start editing. Make your own film. Whatever you have in mind, see. Above all, you have such a big exposure on National Geographic and Discovery, Animal Planet and so on, where you can watch good films and learn from them, where at our time it was not there. We had to learn, express our own thing, come out with a good, interesting film. What inspired you towards animal documentary? Um, I wish you were here earlier. We were talking about from my childhood. The interest began actually. We started into a forest, into tracking animals, looking for elephants, looking for tigers. Way back when I was just about eight years old, and so, so that's the interest. It's. I carried on and which developed into passion for films and recording it. So thank you, sir. It was truly a pleasure to have you here and hearty congratulations on the awards, sir.